There are no strings on me. Hey guys, hope you're excited for The Age of Ultron. I decided to do a look based on the one and only, and this is going to be more of a run through than a tutorial because this took me literally all day. It's a very complex makeup. It involves a lot of highlighting and shading, and what I recommend is just observing metal, uh, the way the shadows and the light react on smooth surfaces and just try to replicate that. You will need to be very planned and organized to do a look like this. I did a sketch beforehand, so this helped me a lot even though I did get lost amongst all the lines, but it was okay because I was able to erase as I went if I made any mistakes. So it's very important to chart something out like this. It'll give you a sense of proportions and where you have to place each line. Even though I know these face charts are kind of unrealistic, they don't match, you know, a normal person's face, but it will give you a sense of proportion for the lines. So for example, I knew where to end this middle bit because it was in diagonal with the eye, with the pupil, and so I knew that it had to go out to here on my own face, and I kind of followed it like that. So I hope you enjoy it, and if you replicate this, please let me know and send me pictures. So I'm going to start off by concealing my brows with glue. I'm using a spoolie to brush the hairs upwards. This way I can get the glue right into the roots. I'm going against the growth of the hairs using the glue stick. And then going up. You can use the spoolie again to help you with this. By directing your brow hairs up, it'll ensure that they're completely flat onto your face. I know it looks really silly, but it's the best way to get them completely flat. Then, dip your finger in some water and smooth out the glue, making sure there are no bumps. Then, go in with another layer of glue. Using a spatula, I'm picking up a little bit of glue and then placing it on my brow to cover the texture of the brow. Not going overboard with the amount of glue, I just want to make sure all the ridges that the hair makes are gone so I can have a more even texture to work on. If it starts drying out on you, get your finger wet again and just smooth it out. This is pretty fidgety, but practice makes perfect. Once my brows are covered, I'm going straight in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in Silver. I'm going to apply that all over my face with a flat brush. I feel like the Tin Man. <laughs> now using a liquid liner, this is just a really cheap one, but it's got a really thin brush, so I like it. I'm going to go in and draw all the lines. <laughs> Not much to it, just have to do this. Gotta tell you, Ultron's eyebrows are on point. The advantage of using a really cheap eyeliner is that it can be easily removed with water. So I'm just using a Q-tip and erasing the lines I don't like. Ta-da! And that's it! It's like I'm drawing a tiny little mustache.
And that's it. And if you like the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And I'll link you to my Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff down below. So if you want to see the high def images, I'm going to post a link to my blog where I'll have the step-by-step -step process to how I did this look. So I'll have my face chart, I'll have the inspiration picture. And I'll go into a little bit of my thought process um, when it comes to planning a look like this. It is something that does take a long time. It does require a steady hand. It does require a lot of practice. But it's what I say to people, the more you practice, the better. So don't be discouraged if you don't have a lot of practice with makeup. A lot of people tell me like, oh, but I'm so bad with makeup, I'd never be able to do it. But you'll only improve if you try and if you actually go and do it. That's the only way to improve with makeup. So. Don't be intimidated by something like this. Uh, the important thing is for you to try. I don't want to do this. Bye bye. More than five hours of work. <laughs>